hello guys and welcome to a new video in this video i'm making an ass using raspberry pi 3 and uh, external hard disk and open media box so let's get started well nas is a network attached storage which means that you will have your storage on the network so you can access it anywhere in your uh, local network and if you have also uh, some setting that you can also expose your files and you can access it on uh, the internet worldwide so uh, here i'm i'm using uh, open media vault and this uh, this is uh, based on uh, debian linux and also uh, when you uh, install it it will be like um, just uh, no graphical uh, interface but you're gonna access it using web-based administration page uh, let's get started by downloading uh, the files and you can find the installation images here there is many arm devices supported like the odroid and uh, the cubebox and uh, you can just get uh, the raspberry pi images if you are using uh, raspberry pi so this is the image we need to download Uh, you're gonna need an SD card and also you will uh, need SD formatter to uh, format uh, the SD card properly and itcher itcher dot io this is also you can uh, select the image select the drive and flash and you will uh, download uh, the image on your uh, drive so first uh, using SD formatter um, I formatted the SD card and using etcher I have flushed the image to uh, the SD card insert it to a Raspberry Pi and start booting uh, the boot screen you just find um, no graphical interface this is uh, like the um, you can you will use it like a headless pie you only uh, insert the uh, ethernet and the power and the hard drive and you don't need any display just to know maybe the um, the IP address uh, to log in to um, the administration tool uh, you can uh, log in by uh, the um, IP address or you can use uh, raspberry pi dot local and you will uh, present it by a uh, login screen you can uh, select uh, the language I stick to the English the username is admin and the password uh, the default password is open media vault I'll not save the uh, password because um, you need to change it because you don't uh, stick to the default password from general and web administrator password here you can uh, choose a new password save after that let's check uh, the physical disks from storage physical disks here uh, we have uh, two uh, drives this is the SD card and this one is uh, the external hard drive uh, we can wipe uh, this process will take a lot of time and I've already uh, formatted uh, the uh, hard drive and the file systems here is uh, listed uh, the two uh, drive devices these devices is uh, the SD card we can create and choose the transcend this is the hard drive i'm using 
and I'll give it uh, the name of uh, let's say uh, just an as and the file system is ext4 okay this will take uh, some time uh, so you can go grab a coffee and uh, continue uh, the configuration After finishing creating the device, uh, we'll click uh, mount and apply. And in the access right uh, management, there is user groups and shared folders. On shared folders, let's add a shared fo folder. Let's call it movies. And on device, let's select the NAS, the one already uh, created, and the path, this is, will be the path on the system. And the permission will be uh, the default one, the administrator read write, and user will read write, other will be only read only. You can add a comment for uh, the path, like uh, this is a list of movies to watch in 2018 save now we have created uh, this uh, shared uh, folder uh, you can add multiple like if we have like songs yeah nobody is listening to songs now everything on the cloud let's uh, call it photos and also uh, on the device the same one and say photos for the path same setting and save and now we have two folders to view these folders on uh, windows and services there is a lot of uh, services here but in SMB we will enable it save and apply the configuration then in shares we will add these files to be uh, shared movies we can also add a comment and save same for the photos Oops. and I should uh, click apply to apply the configuration changes it will be the same for uh, the other folder and let's get back to the access right uh, management for user let's create a user to access these files add I'll create one with my name and give it a password save and apply to apply the configuration changes To access the files on Windows, let's uh, map uh, that drive. Click on uh, Map Network Drive, and we will map uh, the Movies folder. Finish, and that's it. We can also uh, map uh, the other drive, and we can check to log in with uh, different credentials. In this one, uh, it's supposed to give you uh, uh, this window to uh, add to insert your credentials like my username and password that you can have the full access to uh, these folders. And this is and this is now the two mapped uh, folders, and we can now copy uh, the files. You have uh, the full uh, access. Uh, to uh, these files
let's try copy again replace the file and as we can see the speed is uh, is good for uh, home usage but if you are looking for a um, more professional uh, NAS solution I prefer and I would like to recommend that you can uh, search for a professional service like Synology or um, some of Western digital solution well uh, that's it for today's video like if you like subscribe if you like what I'm doing in this channel and I hope you have a nice day